Hello everyone, my name is Undead Jinx, and today is my birthday, and today, for my birthday, I really wanted to uh, try an MRE for the first time, so I'm gonna be eating an MRE today. Yesterday, I actually went through the MRE with my boyfriend, and he kind of told me what stuff I would be, I don't know, working with. <laughs> my birthday is tomorrow. It's skinny. The toothpaste that we bought is skinny. I have an MRE that I'm opening up for my birthday. I've never had an MRE before, but I've always wanted to try one. So that's what I'm gonna kind of try for my birthday. So, I'm gonna try it tomorrow, but we're gonna go through it today because I don't know how MREs work. But apparently the seals are peelable. You don't need scissors. I was right, everything is dull. Everything is... I was like, it's, it's, they're all like, what would this be? Words on it? Chicks with noodles. We've got chicks with noodles. Is it gonna, I can't even tell. Chicks with noodles. What was I gonna say? It's so, it's so military core. <laughs> Mill core. Oh my gosh, Skittles. Oh. Product placement. That's one of the good ones. Talk about product. I don't even like Skittles though. You know how sad it would be if I was in the middle of a war and I open up an MRE? Oh, I mean, it's between Skittles and Sour Skittles. So. You said the op but it's between, you can get Skittles or Sour Skittles. I pro I don't even know. They have new flavors though, they have lime in these. That's fun. That's... It says it's lime. For real? This is the original lime up on the corner. This is not. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't eat Skittles. I don't like them. Anytime I get Skittles, I just dump them all in my mouth and then I chew, 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 chew. And then I like. I mean, it's not that I don't like Skittles. It's just, it's not my preferred candy. But I will eat Skittles if given to me. But when given to me, I dump them all in my mouth and I eat them all at once. Um, we've got our boring spoon, dull spoon, brown spoon. It's all brown and green, exactly like how I thought. Raspberry applesauce. I can't wait. To <laughs> applesauce with raspberry puree. I can't wait to just be like, this looks like a baby pouch, baby food pouch. <laughs> Does it? He okay, said so it looks like baby food. Um, and then this is what I actually found in in the hotel the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, MRE stuff. And then I made it balloon, and then I threw it away because I didn't have anything to actually heat up. There's another one. Hot beverage bag. Oh, so you can warm up your beverages. Oh. Okay. I will be making the coffee. Oh, we have sweeteners. Is this the gum? Oh, this is the gum. Oh, it comes with a hot pocket packet. A hot pocket box. Crackers? <laughs> what? Giant cracker? This thing is hard. What the heck? This is like cardboard. Oh my gosh. Beverage based powder tropical punch. That sounds fun. Tropical punch flavored no fruit juice. Okay, spread. Maybe that's what this is. Oh. Peanut butter and apple jelly. Which one did you say was really good? The jalapeno? Yeah, some of them have jalapeno cheese. Hmm, I like this. It's like Christmas, <laughs> but with food. It's like Christmas and Halloween combined because you get to eat the food and then you just, you, you guess what you're gonna get. Well, I have to heat these up at the same time. Yeah. Okay. If you want to make hot coffee with it, yeah. I 
too. Yeah, so you do, you activate. Oh, it says you put water in it first. Or well, you fill this up with the liquid. Uh -huh. And add the coffee. Ew, it's bushy. And then you, so oh, you, so this does. Yeah, so you. Oh, I guess that makes sense because it, it keeps it yeah. closed. Okay. Yeah, you put the MRE in the bag. You tear the, this th this that one. top one. Yeah. And then put it in here. And then. Sorry for the change in audio. Um, for that, I was recording on my phone, and now I'm recording on my laptop from home. In this uh, smaller bag, though, we have, um, I guess this is like a napkin, I think. Um, sweetener, a moist towelette, sugar, dried coffee, hot powdered hot sauce, and then non-dairy creamer and gum. But I want to start with making this beverage. Coffee. Add coffee to six ounces of hot water. Oh, or cold water and stir. So I don't even, I can have, I can have cold coffee with this. That sounds kind of lit. I think I want to have cold coffee instead. So we wouldn't even need to use this because we're not gonna heat up our water. But first things first, we should um, we should heat up this bad boy. We should heat up our soup. Is this soup? I don't know, it says chicken with noodles, but it feels like soup. It takes like 15 to 20 minutes. So while that heats up, we can go through everything else that's inside of our bag. So we're gonna tear off this ready to eat heater, or the top, the top part of the ready to eat heater. And then we're gonna pull this bag up, I guess, like the actual, the heater. We're gonna pull it up a bit. I think this is really funny. It says to lean it up against a rock or something. I find that absolutely hilarious. Um, and then I guess we add this to it as well. Also, I don't have a rock or something, so I'm kind of just gonna lean it up against the wall of my outside patio and hope that that's okay. And then we're gonna add some water to this. Uh, we're gonna make sure it's in between these two lines. This must be like the silliest thing for people who have actually had MREs before watching me do this, if anyone is watching me do this. Oh my gosh. I hope that wasn't too much. I think I need a little bit more, but I also don't want to overfill it. Okay, you know, fuck it. It's fine. It's fine. You know? It's fine. Oh, so specifically, it's chicken egg noodles and vegetables in sauce. <laughs> and then we fold it in half and place this bad boy well, I'm gonna do it from the top. Why is this so complicated? It's like hard to squish, kinda. Maybe I wasn't supposed to use cold water. I feel like the cold water, maybe I should use room temperature water. I feel like the cold water is cold, is getting colder. That's not a thing, right? That's not, that's not how that works. Also, my boyfriend said sometimes this guy like shakes it. Um, but I don't know. I'm kinda scared now. I'm scared that I used the wrong type of water. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna set this outside. Um, since I used cold water, I'm actually gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes instead of 15. I think it takes 15 to 20 minutes. So 20 is probably okay. I wanna start making the coffee now, so that's what we're gonna do. I don't know how many ounces six ounces is, but I'm just gonna assume that it's like half of this cup, maybe, I don't know. If anything, it'll just be really strong coffee. <laughs> Bill's Brew, that's what it's called. Bill's Brew freeze-dried coffee. Actually, I should have showed you guys before I even started to open it. I don't know if I'll be able to smell it. I'm still sick. I've been sick. It just smells like coffee. Oh, it looks like, oh. It looks like instant coffee, like that you get from like literally any like food market in like, I don't know, Korea or Japan. This is probably gonna be hard to show without spilling. I'm. Just, not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. Not even gonna chance it. Uh, let's add this creamer. Wait, this is creamer, right? Yeah. Creamer, non-dairy, and dry. And then we'll also add the sugar, because I like sweet coffee. I also do like cappuccinos, but for this, we're gonna add the sugar. Sugar. I'm just gonna mix it using our, our soup spoon. Oh my gosh, the creamer. The creamer is not mixing that well. I kind of figured because it's not hot. Um, I mean, it's kind of working, but it's not working very well. Ugh. 
I'm gonna take a picture of that for you guys. Um, looks kind of gross, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? So, let's give it a go. It literally just tastes like regular coffee. I don't know why I thought it would be magical. It tastes regular. <laughs> we might as well try this applesauce. It's applesauce with raspberry puree. And apparently, the applesauce is really freaking good. Oh my gosh, this is really good. What the heck? This is literally so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. This does fucking slap. Put this shit in the fridge. I bet it tastes amazing cold. We also have this bed beverage. Oh my gosh. We also have beverage base powder tropical punch. Okay, so we need to add 12 ounces of water. Close the zipper and then shake it to mix and then we drink it um i don't like it i don't know how many ounces 12 ounces is and on the thing it says it's about half a canteen cup i don't have a canteen cup so this doesn't help at all but it's a lot of powder so i'm probably just gonna like add to the lime that's what they should do just make it so that you fill it up to the lime like also it smells really good it low-key kind of just smells like kool-aid oh is this bag leaking or did i spill Oh, I think I just spilled. I've got water all over my leg, but I don't think we're done, so I have to keep pouring. How did I spill? Is I really not paying attention? I'm scared to shake it. It's like shaking water in a Ziploc bag. It's probably okay, but there could be a hole. Okay, I'm gonna do it like over here. Or maybe I should just squish up the bottom. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This is scary, low key. Like, doing this outside, fine. Indoors, bad idea. Well, but I mean, I'm doing it, so... Uh. It's, like, stuck in the corners. I Probably because I squished it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got so scared. I thought it opened. Oh my gosh, it did open. I got juice on my hands. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna stop shaking it. Moment of truth. I don't think this is- oh, I don't think it's quite mixed up that well, but I'm scared. I can- I can easily see myself spilling this. This tastes like shit. Doesn't taste like there's any sugar in this at all, but there's 20 grams of sugar. Maybe the sugar's just at the bottom, but I'm scared to shake it up again. Maybe I'll pour it in a cup and try to mix it better. Or if I had a bottle- actually- I have an empty green tea bottle, I can pour it in this. And then shake it with a better closed lid. I transferred it, but there's still stuff at the bottom of the package. So it's probably not gonna taste any different if I shake it up. Moving on, we've got Skittles. I don't really like Skittles, so I'll probably just give these to my boyfriend. And we have crackers that are as solid, like cardboard. And then we have peanut butter and apple jelly to go with it. I'm nervous about the crackers. Not gonna lie. I don't want them to crumble. Oh yeah, they're crumbly. They're crumbly. Okay, I've prepared. I have a bowl. I don't have any plates, so I have a bowl. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was like one giant cracker. It's a, wait. Well, this shouldn't be complicated at all. It should not be hard to get to the crackers. This is what they look like. Like, they look like I should be able to break them into smaller chunks. Let's try. Oh, it kind of works. I'm making it work. <laughs> oh, I failed. I fucked up. But that's fine, because I wanted to try a piece anyways. Honestly, it just tastes like a saltine, but minus the salt. A teen, if you will. Now, I'm not a fan of peanut butter. But I feel like I would be doing myself a disservice to not try it with the peanut butter. Chalk with some peanut butter? That's peanut butter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just trying to make a little corner for the jelly, but I kind of messed up. Now to try the jelly. The apple jelly. I feel like this one's gonna taste really good. Apple jelly. It's good. I guess I'll make a little PB&J with apple jelly. Oh, too much. Too much apple jelly. And some peanut butter it's definitely good but um i think i put way too much peanut butter on there also guys this is my lunch so 
I am eating the entire MRE for my birthday lunch. So I fucked up. The water actually, I didn't push the thing down enough so that it would be able to touch the water. So it didn't heat up. I now have to wait 15 more minutes all over again for it to heat up. Totally forgot to try all the drinks all over again. I mean, they've been sitting for a while, so. Yeah, the Tropical Punch still tastes pretty bad. It tastes like there's no sugar in it. Which honestly, I think the sugar was just at the bottom of the packet and I should have kept shaking it, but I was scared I was gonna spill myself. The coffee finally mixed better. And yeah, it just tastes like basic coffee. Coffee with creamer and sugar, that's also cold. Honestly, I probably should have let this continue to heat up a bit more, um, but I don't care. I'm, I don't wanna wait anymore. It's already 1 p.m. And I've gotta go soon. But you're supposed to squish it up a bit, mix it up, make sure all of the, um, Bits and pieces are hot, but it's just warm for me. Oh, you open it up on the side. I guess so that it's like a bowl and easy to eat and you don't have to like dig your whole hand inside of this thing just to access the food. But I'm kind of scared, like I don't want to spill on myself like I'm already about to do. Oh yeah, it literally just looks like chicken noodle soup. There's like a better, I really don't want to spill <laughs> a better picture. Yeah, it just tastes like chicken noodle, but it's good. Also, we have powdered hot sauce. I mentioned before, I am not a hot sauce kind of gal, but I think we should try it with hot sauce. Like, it literally just looks like spices. Oh, that's hot. That's really hot. I also have gum, but I don't want to try the gum until after I'm done eating. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me <laughs> crack open an MRE and eat what's inside. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.